Hello people, um, Adam here, and today I am going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 6. So, iOS 6 came out right here. I tried uploading some videos to YouTube about iOS 6 about like 100 times, but it said that um, there was like 500 minutes remaining. And then there was 100, and then it was 91%. It froze there, so I was like, never mind. So there it is. It has passbook. It's really cool. Maps and stuff. So, first, you open in um, iTunes. I mean, not iTunes, wait. No iTunes. Close window. Okay. So first, I will add these links to the description. You will need Red Snow. You will need the your version of your phone or device thing, which I will put in the link. And you will need Win SCP. So first, you need to connect your iPod to your computer and let me just untangle this if I can okay just connect it onto your computer and then <coughs> what you do is you open Red Snow and there should be this so you press extra then select IPSW and you select the device thing okay then you go back and jailbreak patching terminal whatever then it says this and just press next and then if you see it doesn't let you click next so what you're gonna do is press the top keep it and then just slide to power off so just to make sure that your iPod is off, then now you can press next and get ready. You are going to do DFU mode. So just follow me. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh. Four, three, two, one. Let go of the top. And keep holding till the next page goes off. There, just hold a little more. Right there. So now it is off on DFU mode. And it's waiting for reboot. So this should pop up on your iPod. Well, your device. And it says download and jailbreak data. And yeah. And then this should pop up. Looks cool, doesn't it? It looks like a hacker stuff. But no worries, it's not gonna do anything bad. It just looks cool. <laughs> like, I wish I could do this next to my friends, and it's like, hey, look, I'm a hacker. So, it says done, and you could just press cancel. And wait till this is done. It's just rebooting and adding jailbreak data. data. Then this should pop up. Hits red snow and it says installing bundles. Ignore that people, that's not even, that's for my computer. And then, just start rebooting again. Try not to press, when there was that little hacker thing, I don't think you should press that. I never pressed it, but it probably like stops it or something. Just three downloads. Okay. So now it's done rebooting. 
And if you see, your iPod still does not have Cydia. So, that is normal. Set it aside. You go back to Red Snow. You press Extras. Select IPSW again. Press that again. OK. And just boot. Then, same thing. Turn it off. Slide to power off. Remember, just boot. Don't press that jailbreak thing. So what this does is it's just going to boot it so it, like, gets normal. And then press next, DFU mode. I think I did it. That thing popped up again. And it might not have worked. Yeah, I think it worked. Yep, it worked. So, once you do that, a pineapple will pop up. And that is the logo for Red Snow. That's pretty cool, right? Pineapple for instead of an apple, <laughs> they added a pine apple. So, once it says done, you just press cancel and it will still be rebooting. Okay, so if you see, it still does not have Cydia. So now this is the part, your I device thing is now jailbroken. But you don't have Cydia, so this is the part that you get Cydia. You go to Win SCP, open that, link in the description. Okay. Okay, there, whatever. Okay, so what you do is you press Session, Host Name. You are going to copy your IP address. So you go to your settings, go to your settings, go to your Wi Fi, press your Wi Fi, and it should have your IP address right there, first line. So you just copy that as your host name. So mine's 192.168.1.13. Got this in my head already because I do this so many times. And then port number, just leave it. Username, you're going to write root, R O O T. Password, you're going to write Alpine. So A L P I N E. I think the pine means like pineapple because it's the red snow. Then you just press login. Dude, my iPod's really crappy. I need to fix it. Leave that there. Okay. So, if it works, it works. If this pops up, it popped up to me a while. Sometimes it worked. You just press update. And it just updated it for you. And this should pop up once you log in then what you're gonna do is you're gonna press commands open terminal terminal and then okay then this should open just a black thing that says console and then there's a box that says enter command and there's gonna be a link in the description for this it's um a like widget thing so you just paste it and then execute and this does take a while but not that so I'm just not going to pause it
When that pops up, leave it. I will take it off. Okay, so now it is done. If you see it turned on, then you slide to unlock, and there you have Cydia. Okay, so once you have Cydia, well then you could close and take this off. Okay. So now you pretty much have Cydia. So once you press, it'll just say that file system is loading and blah blah blah. So yeah, thanks guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos, the new comedies and entertainment and stuff. Also, tech in the way back again. Um, please tell your friends, like this video, and subscribe if it helps. Thanks.